right here it is this is Ableton 8.1 and as you see here I'm in uh, session view and this one is arrangement view still empty so you see here there are several blocks here which is contains of a uh, pattern uh, uh, first of all I'm going to show you how to make a simple uh, different kind of beat right right over here I'm going to use a groove pool right over here you just click this one right over here in the left in groove pool and you can you can use any kind of groove you like uh, you can find it here in the document I guess in the user and then goes to documents and there is a groove and you can open their quantize rock or whatever swing uh, for me I just use a 16 3 platform now okay let's let's hear how, how does it sound without the uh, without it quantize all right so it's normal hi hat you see here the bro you see here the blocks it's for me it's very flat is just ordinary hi hats I'm going to make it different uh, I'm going to quantize it into hundred percent 16 triplet and let's see how does it sound okay so now it's turned like that all right so if you combined with the drum it's gonna it sound different you see you can play with the how much you're going to quantize the notes. Sometimes I'm doing it on the live as well to make a kind of movement. And once you quite you're quite happy with that, you can commit the blocks to do the quantize one. Now you see the blocks is moved to the right one. All right. Uh, okay. uh, let's go into the next step. Uh, I showed you how to quantize the pattern. You can do as well with the other pattern like bass, effect, or your leads, or the other uh, drums or percussion, right? So I just uh, I put already the, some patterns here to the session view, uh, to the arrangement view. Sorry. So le let's hear it. Okay, you hear that? Uh, it's kind of ruffle here. So instead of I putting notes, whatever notes here, and add some more sample like a snare drum or whatever, I rather choose the beat repeat to work on it. And for the sample right over here, I'm in the loop. I never use the loop from whatever it is from my sample CD. So I slice the loops into several notes. So into several notes. So as you see here, there are several notes. So each note has a different sound. So from there, I can create my own kind of pattern, my own loops. All right. So okay. 